Thanks, Brooke. You know, you're looking for a good way to save some money this year. How about investing your time in helping your child brush and floss their teeth properly? This really can help prevent cavities and can save hundreds, if not thousands of dollars in dental bills. Consistent flossing and brushing can make all the difference in making sure cavities don't crop up. So Dr. David Stewart is here from Little People's Dental here to explain why we have to brush the way we do and your kids don't think that they're brushing there on their own because really even when they're three or four or five or six or seven sometimes need help from mom and dad right yes and then that's the thing is it's important to note that that brushing and flossing can make a difference and like with any task you're doing around your house having the right tool makes a difference now as we look here there are lots of different tools these are all the same toothbrushes from the same manufacturer but you can see we've got different sizes different forms and that can be confusing as you buy toothbrushes what do I get so if I'm getting a toothbrush for my kid what is the perfect toothbrush to get really as we look you want one that they can grab onto that's got a handle that they can hold on to and you can hold on to when you help them also small head soft round tufted bristles and well made there are lots of toothbrushes that aren't well made so you want to look for a quality toothbrush that will hold up if we look at spin brushes there are lots of different sizes and again same manufacturer different heads this head will not access where it needs to get in a child's mouth and a lot of places an adults mouth so a small head soft bristle brush is kind of the take-home message that I'd recommend as you look quality made also if you're doing a, re a rechargeable toothbrush is what I'd recommend and a replaceable head because your head will wear out and need to be replaced every f so many months and so really a rechargeable small head replaceable head toothbrush will save you in the long run. So really the idea of, of certain brands or certain gimmicks with certain things is not as important as just having the right size toothbrush yes. for the right size mouth. Exactly. Okay now, let me ask you about kids because we were talking a little bit about I have kids I have four kids I've had to go through all of them brushing my teeth I still brush a couple of them every night how do you how, what's the proper way to do that how do I teach my kid how to brush how do I brush their teeth as soon as a child has teeth they need to be brushed so parents will say when do I start as soon as teeth are in their mouth they're at risk for decay and so as soon as they've got teeth six months to a year start brushing now those children are not cooperative and so a way that I found that really works is to lay them back okay and so as you do that you can sit right flat on the floor and you can see a child here laying back if they're not cooperative you can slip their arms right underneath your legs like that and you can get in and brush this is like we would do in the dental office it allows you access it allows the child to sit comfortably laying back in that position and I use this even in my older children because it's more comfortable for them we don't have to do hard way with them like this little girl is cooperating so you can get in but you can tilt their head back they can sit in that position for several minutes well you mentioned the hard way what if they what if they resist I mean it's really important to brush their teeth isn't it? it is and know that your one two three year old likely will resist some do some don't and so as we look at that parents will say well when do I transition that to my child studies show us until they're seven or eight they don't have good dexterity to brush on their own nine or ten to be able to floss well so really until a child is nine or ten a parent should be in there daily helping them to brush and floss so what I'll often do is they become more emphatic about doing their own teeth I'll say have them do the morning brush that's what they're in charge of the nighttime brush when things are a little slower around the house you can get more in the groove that's when you have them lay back where you as a parent floss and brush and help them to, to learn those skills but even up till a kid is like seven or eight you said mom or dad should be brushing the teeth at least yeah. once a day yes and studies show us where they take kids and teach them how to do it and say this is how you do it get in and do it till that age they just don't have the dexterity to do it. like when they tie their their shoes you wouldn't expect a four or five year old to tie their own shoes okay you even have some floss this is the one thing I really I hate and I don't do well so give me the scoop what do I do here well and that you know as we look at that the question is what are we what are we doing when we're in there and there are really four surfaces on a tooth that we're trying to get. The number one place we get decay is in pits and fissures and in between where the teeth touch. And so with the brush, we're trying to get three surfaces. Outside along the gum line, so we're angling and we have to change the angle. We're getting along the gum lines, then a chewing surface, and then on an inside surface along where the tongue is. Now the brush can get those surfaces, but it can't get where teeth touch. And so that's another big area that we need to get. And the only way we can get that way is with floss. And so flossing truly is as important as a brushing if we want to prevent decay in our own mouths or in our children's mouth. Now, a lot of people don't floss because it's uncomfortable, it's difficult, they just, dexterity-wise, it's hard. Yeah. What I have found works is if you wrap it around your lower three fingers and get the tension that way. 
Then it leaves you with dexterity with thumb and pointer finger to grab and really get in and go. So if your child's laying back, they can lay back and you can get in and do that. And your own mouth, that's very helpful also. So lower three fingers, other up their two fingers you can use to get in there. Okay. okay. Some great idea. If you want some more information on how to prevent tooth decay, you can go to Dr. Stewart's website at littlepeoplesdental.com. Got an office down there in South Jordan. You can also go to our website. We've got a link there to Dr. Stewart's website on our website, which is studio5.ksl.com. You can get your kids getting their teeth all in right shape for Christmas, right? Yeah. Thanks, yeah. Dr. Stewart.